Korean flying training is two weeks of large force exercises with the U.S. and ROCAF Air Forces, and really just a good chance to test and teach each other about each other. Ultimately, with the Peninsula, the ROCAF are the home team, so for us, it's coming into their backyard, especially for from us being from Japan and, and the United States coming over here, is to get a chance to see the lay of the land, uh, train with them, interact with them. I'll give it so that it doesn't have to come in and catch the wire. With them being the home team and being able to teach us about that, and then we come in with our tactics and the ROCAF and United States forces be able to, to work together on the defense of the South Korean people is uh, ultimately the goal. KFT-23 Korea Flying Training originally was named Max Thunder until 2019. Our main missions were air interdiction, uh, defensive counter-air, also accident and close air support. For this year, it was more special because U.S. Marine Corps participated. They brought F-35 Bravos and F-A-18 Hornets. Flying with F-35 Bravos and F-A-18s was unique. And then it was uh, really a new experience for me to learn how those fighters execute the missions, how they achieve the objectives and mission goals. We're dedicated, we're devoted, we have this fighting spirit. I think that's the most unique thing about ROC. Air Force. Night operations, tremendously important to be able to train at night to an already complex exercise, adding in the distractor of it not being light outside. It makes everything far more challenging. We'd love the opportunity to come back here. We'd love the opportunity to fly here routinely at a Guangzhou, Osan, uh, Kunsan, you name it, and we would go back at a moment's notice if given the opportunity.